weather forecast. Well, good morning. We have some tough cloud cover around to start off our day today and some areas of fog that have developed. But as we start to get that sunshine, we can burn the fog off. We'll also break up the cloud cover and get some sunshine back. But other than that, and this isn't even really a problem, there are no weather issues. A step outside here in Dixon City, it is chilly. We're at 28 this morning and we have the cloud cover. The important thing is it's dry right now. Temperatures are in the 30s and 20s. Mount Pocono 27, Pottsville 35, Hazleton 34, Sealands Grove coming in right around 38. Radar looks good despite having the clouds this morning. There's nothing to talk about. No rain, no snow like what we ended up seeing through yesterday. And as we get this out so we can get the bigger picture, what we're going to see is an area of high pressure down to our south. That's going to help a little bit to break up the cloud cover. But here's our next storm system up in the Great Lakes. Really part one of what will come in three different parts getting ready to go into the weekend. So eventually that will just shore up the cloud cover as we go into tonight. That being said, there'll be some sunshine to go around into this afternoon and even through this evening and temperatures make it back into the mid upper 50s and even near 60. That's going to depend on how much sun we see, but it looks like a good day all around the average high for this time of year right around 50. So we are running a good 5 to 10 degrees above that average and there's that cloud cover burning off this morning going into this afternoon and evening. We can expect some sunshine tonight as this front comes in. The cloud cover comes back and these scattered showers along with it, though many of those really all of them should be very light and these stick around until tomorrow morning by the afternoon. Watch this area of low pressure. It's gone by the time we get to midday. The area of high pressure up to our north will actually try to give us some sunshine back late in the day tomorrow, but then the cloud covers right on our heels for tomorrow night, Saturday and going into Sunday. There are just scattered off and on showers as our next storm system comes in. So this would be parts two and three of the rain pushing through just out ahead of this front on Sunday. Temperatures will actually get back into the 60s, but then behind that front, it will start to get more seasonal for early next week. So 58 for the high today in your eyewitness weather forecast. The cloud cover this morning will break for some sunshine this afternoon. It's warmer all around with the wind at five to ten miles per hour. We're down to the 40s tonight. Clouds return and so do some showers. Those stick around through tomorrow morning, but by the afternoon we'll end up drying out and even getting some clearing Saturday and Sunday. Sunshine's going to be very hard to come by. We'll be stuck in the cloud cover with just the off and on rain both days. Sunday we're back in the 60s. Monday a lot of cloud cover 52 not ruling out an isolated shower, but looks like a pretty dry day. Tuesday we get some sunshine back, but then of course right on our heels for Wednesday. There's more rain coming with temperatures in the 40s and we can always download the eyewitness weather app to take us with you on the go by downloading that to your phones and tablets. The forecast is always available for you at PA homepage. Com. So in these times, you know, when everybody's sort of just stuck inside, you feel like you can't go anywhere, even on a day like today, stepping outside front yard, backyard, you take a chair, you sit there and enjoy the nice weather. If we can do that, that's great. And if it's in the high 50s, maybe even low 60s in some parts, I mean, you might even be able to open up your window. Yeah, right? you can get out. You may work on that base tan, you know, try to get a jump start. <laughs> yeah, well, if, if you're bored doing something inside, I mean, maybe maybe you could brave that today. You could in the if 50s. It's an option for you.